Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to your favorite show, It's Teen Gospel Live. My name is Oami, and I am joined by Lindo. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. How are you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored. What are we talking about today? So today's topic is HIV and AIDS. And the question for the day is, are HIV and AIDS campaigns helping to curb the virus amongst young people? To help us understand the topic a bit better, we will be having a chat, not Dr. Alex. That's right, guys. Make sure you answer today's question of the day, which is, are HIV and AIDS campaign helping to stop the spread of the virus amongst young people on our social media platforms using the hashtag, hashtag TVL on SID? Right about now, though, it's time for us to get the show started the only way we know how. Keep your eyes locked to the screen and enjoy this performance. Today we are talking about HIV and AIDS and the question for the day is are HIV and AIDS campaigns helping young helping to stop the virus amongst young people today we have Dr Alex joining us in studio welcome doctor uh, thank you so much. Good day to everybody. And I'm so glad that you are really addressing this is a big problem, especially for young people. So, Doctor, could you kindly like, introduce yourself and give us a short description for, uh, of what you do? Okay. Currently, I am the Executive Director of the Adventist AIDS International Ministry, which is under the General Conference. The General Conference has really recognized that this is a big problem. And as a result... We, as a church, have come up with this office which directly addresses a single disease, and that is HIV. Yeah. So, Doctor, what are the stats for young people who have HIV and AIDS? I'm so sorry to say, but it's not uh, very encouraging at the moment. Yeah. Okay? When the pandemic started way back in 1985 to 1995, that was the first phase of the pandemic, the statistics of the new infection one out of four of the new infections was between 15 to 25 years old. And now they have found out that in some countries, this has actually increased from one is to four. One out of three of the new infections mm. are young people. Not only that, but in even some countries, they mentioned one out of two. So it has become very serious. Part of it too is because the older generation have already been infected. So yeah. they're out of the list. And you come up with 
Young people who have actually grown up, who have not known about the disease, who have not been infected, and now they are the ones infected. Are the ones infected. So it is very serious that really many of the donor agencies and the governments are really addressing especially HIV among young people. Yeah. So what are the causes of young people contracting HIV? Yes. Uh, first of all, we have to realize that not all, all of this is because of their fault. They are actually born because of the parents or because of sex in the older generation. Uh, and that is also very important that we address because every time that we see HIV, we immediately say, well, it's their fault, but it's not. Many of them, yeah. especially if you were born in 1995 with HIV, that means you're going to be now at least 25 or 26 years old. You see. Yeah. Of course, number two, we have what we call intergenerational sex. And I really appeal, you see, that our older people should be responsible, you know, having sex with a younger person. And these days it is very sad because this intergenerational sex is not only between an older man and a younger girl, but even an older man and also a younger boy. Mm. We have also what we call older women with, older, with younger boys. Yeah. See? So those are the things. And of course, number three, it is really the sexual act, having uh, sex between even young people or even also with an adult person. But I should say also, some of our young people, because of lack of what we call a proper income, they also have what we call commercial sex. Yeah. And these are really the major ways that HIV is being contracted. So we do know that, um, obviously, the world and even the church is trying to hold campaigns to educate people about HIV and AIDS, right? So what... Um, what are HIV and AIDS campaigns trying to do to stop the virus amongst young people? Yes, this is the reason why we have really this office, because the main reason is awareness and prevention. So in a typical what we call program for what we call uh, prevention, uh, number one, we, we make proper advertising for young people so that they are aware. And number two, what we do is that we do testing. But before we do testing, we actually also give them uh, advice, counseling, so that in the event that they are positive, then they have already some ways that they can help themselves to cope up with the problem. Or we also tell them, for instance, that there are methods that are out there, and we need to mention them because they are part of the what we call armamentum that is being used. Yes. Okay, now we have what we call pre-exposure prophylaxis. You know, you take uh, medications that would help to prevent before doing any sex at all. Number two, we have also what we call post-exposure prophylaxis. That is, you can take these medications when you have already indulged and you say, oh, I'm afraid that I'm going to get HIV. So you yeah. take the medications. Of course, there's also what we call uh, uh, condoms that are available. But really, as a church, our stand is that it is very important that we teach our young people the ways of the Lord, that they are going to have what we call an intimate, profound, a saving relationship with the Lord. Because once these child, young people are going to have this relationship with the Lord, it is going to help them uh, cope up with the daily problems, the hormonal changes. At the same time, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Yeah. And we know, you see, when we have Christ in our hearts, we can say, I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. So you did mention a few, like a few ways to prevent, right? But what are the numbers? Because we know that with, with condoms, it's also like not 100% safe. With um, prophylaxis, like just you had mentioned, they, they also probably have their disadvantages as well. So could you give us the advantage and the disadvantage of using those? Okay, I also forgot to mention that there is circumcision actually helps. In fact, circumcision would be able to prevent between 60 to 65%, which is just like what we call a vaccine. Yeah. Now, we really don't have any proper statistics because in order for me to give that to you, you're going to say, okay, this group is going to be only abstinence. This group is going to be post-exposure prophylaxis, you yeah, see. Yeah. Uh, we don't have, but all of these agencies that we are working together with, 
we use all of this, what we call armamentum together to be able to stop this pandemic yeah. going on. So if maybe uh, post-exposure prophylaxis do not work for you, they say, okay, there is also condom available. Okay? But to come up with a figure, it is not possible because we combined all of these measures yeah. to be able to come up with what we call a way of preventing a single individual or young people together. But really, as a church, we are encouraging that we involve ourselves in what we call abstinence and using the power of the Lord. And I am also appealing to our older generation because it is very important yeah. that our older generation would really mentor our young people. You see, when you are going to be mentoring, you're going to be providing activities, what happens is that when they are in these activities, they cannot do any sex. For instance, if you are going to have what we call an activity for the young people, then they don't have time to go for themselves and having what we call this uh, sex, you see? Yeah. So what would, you, what would you say to a young person who has already contracted HIV, um, HIV and AIDS? How would, you, how would you advise them? First of all, I appeal also to our church members and also to the whole community that they should not stigmatize because many times immediately when you say HIV, ah, it is their fault, but no, they have been victims. And even people who are actually indulging in themselves, they got the disease because of themselves. We should not stigmatize them, but rather we should help them. Okay. And number two, it is very important for these young people to realize that there is hope. These days, even though you get HIV, it has been found out that you can live what we call a normal life, just like anybody, yeah. if you just continue with the medications. So I strongly advise that they take what we call antiretroviral treatment, though right now it is for life. And at the same time, you see, I know you actually think, oh, can I have children? Yes, if you take ARV, you can actually have an offspring which is going to come out as negative. And many children now have been born from parents of HIV and they are HIV negative because of taking ARVs. Thank you so much, Doctor, for coming through. Thank you so much for the opportunity that yeah. we can actually encourage and help people who are out there. Yeah. Guys, the best way to prevent is abstinence. Just like Doctor has said, Abstinence, abstinence, abstinence. Right now, though, it's time for us to take a break. We will be right back. All of these and more on SID Media TV. Welcome back, guys. You're watching Teen Gospel Live. If you have just joined us, today's topic of the day is HIV and AIDS. Right now, though, it's time for us to check out what Talent TV has. Let's go. Hi, uh, my name is Kukule Tsukunene and I was born and raised in Cloverdine. I'm a person who is more into social media, a person who is always into doing research and seeing new things. So <clears throat> this one time I was on YouTube and fortunately a video of Gregory Matoma appeared and I happened to see his dancing and at that time I, I became inspired and it was very surprising because I've always been an excellent academic and I was never into the arts. But when I first saw his video, a fire inside of me just broke and I wanted to see myself like that guy. There was a situation when from grade seven, I had to apply for high school. I never actually looked into Eastern School of the Arts. I just wanted to go to Crystal Park High or Bittit High School. But, um, 
I don't know what happened. When I applied, they couldn't take me and the only school available with a lesser number of learners was Eastern School of the Arts and my mom was like, Go, go, you get looking piggy, so just go into the school, it's the only opportunity you have. And it's like, okay, it's fine. And then I got into the school, I realized that it was an art school and you had to choose your art disciplines. And when I looked around, I saw design. I'm like, I, I don't know how to draw. Visual arts is the same thing as design. That's not me. And when I saw dance, I was like, okay, it's something that I can polish, you know, and also dramatic arts, so yeah. I officially always rehearse when I'm at school and I usually utilize my break into rehearsing. Every time maybe they say we have to have our own choreos and at any time, at any given time, we have to polish the exercises given to us because the teachers only teach, you know, they, they don't have extra time to, you know, sit with us one by one. We have so many socio-economic ills out there and I didn't really want to say this but I'm from a family that has a lot of troubles so being into a space of, being into a clear space, I consider arts a, a space of uniqueness like it's like a home so there are no troubles, it's just a peaceful place so whenever I'm moving I'm just free and my, and back to those socio-economic ills, I'm not pregnant right now, I'm not doing any drugs, I'm not smoking, I'm not wanted anywhere. No, I'm safe. Living with people who are not artists, people who don't understand any art, people who are like, Kuku wena otlagan pili, you have to go into medicine. They don't really understand where my passion lies, where my potential lies, you know. And in dance classes, I've always been one of the best, but I had a few problems with flexibility. But then I always dedicated my time and my after schools, and as I said, my breaks into stretching. And I've asked Mbalentle to help me, and yeah, that's how I overcome my flexibility problem. Okay, to anybody that wishes to do arts or dancing, I would just like to say, at any given point and at any given time, you should go for who, no, not who, you should go for what you love, because at the end of the day, that's your future, and it's it's more or less like doing something that you don't love. You know, it is your Iba Notula when you do something that you love, so if, you are, if your heart is into arts, just go for it. Oh guys, people are talented out here. It was so beautiful to see how talented you guys are and how much effort you put into bettering yourselves each and every single day. Make sure you guys keep sending your videos of your talents to us to the number on your screen. Remember, TGL's Got Talents is for our 13 to 18 year olds, so you guys keep sending them. Right now though, it's time for us to check out what you're saying about today's topic of the day over in live chat. Let's go. It's that time of the show where we get to interact with you guys on our social platforms. And the question for today is, are HIV and AIDS campaigns helping to curb the virus amongst young people? And this is what you guys had to say. Uvuyo said, on a small scale, they do help. But on a large scale, they are ignorant and easily influenced. Untogozo said, no, it is really not helping. Well, Emmanuel said, teenage pregnancy is still there and it is still continuing. And if that is still going up, then that means there are more and more teens having unprotected sex. So I don't think the campaigns are helping much. We really love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to send through your comments with the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. Right now though, it's time for us to take a break. We'll be right back. Coming up on the next episode of Team Gospel Live. We ask the question, how can you stop teenage pregnancy? We have 16 million girls falling pregnant every year globally. We also get music from Uunati. And 
we cook with our share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Catch Teen Gospel live on Hope Channel or SID Media TV for our new Don't, Don't miss it. it. Welcome back to Teen Gospel Live. It's that time of the show where we are going to test your knowledge with one of our games. And the selected game for today is Guess the Lyrics. Woo! It's quite simple. It's quite simple. So both contestants will be part of this game at the same time. What they're going to do, I'll sing the lyrics and they one of them has to shout their name the loudest. So I have to choose who was the loudest and I'll give them a chance to guess the lyric. So let's go, let's go. Okay, okay let me just shake it off. Don't be biased, let's go. Melinda, don't be biased. Relax, relax. Be um, okay, so no one can see the, okay, let me do this. Let me step back so that no one sees the lyrics. I'm about to go, right? Okay. I'm gonna count it down in three, two, so one. <laughs> All the way. Oh, I'm... Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm... Me. My savior. Correct. A wonderful thing. Oh, I'm hey, Ananda. <laughs> oh, I'm you better Ananda. wait. Ananda, 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 Ananda. Oh, I'm My face ain't in Okay, it's fine. It's fine. All, yes. the, all the way. Sing it again. All the way. My savior needs me. No, it's a wonderful savior. It's Jesus, Jesus my Lord. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All to Jesus. Ananda. Okay, she said it first. I surrender. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, sitting at the feet. Oh, I'm of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Looking at the number, she won that one. Because now there's only one left, and no, I mean, and she like... got three, you got one. So, unfortunately, you it will have to go, go to, the to the famous wheel. <laughs> Give it a young spin there. <laughs> nothing hectic, nothing hectic. Come this side. Come this side. Come this so side. we can also see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you don't cheat. So you, so can you can't see. say then. Mm, mm, mm. There's no cheating. Here. I hope yeah. it lands on cream, actually. Now that I think but about now, it. But now, here's the thing. Now like, that I think about it, yeah. There's biscuits, right? But I want cream. It looks so. like cream. Oh, it's a cream. It can't be marshmallow. It's, it's lemon, lemon juice. juice. Oh. I'd rather get lemon juice. <laughs> As a vocalist, I am happy. Thank you. Lemon, lemon juice. juice. Lemon juice. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm ready for this. I'm wait, ready. wait. I have to drink it or you're going to pour it on me. Oh, you no. Have to drink it. No pouring. Oh, I thought you were drinking it. I was like, whoa. <laughs> No, no, you have to drink it, but it. before you drink it, let me quickly give it a short explanation. You're going to drink it in less than 10 seconds, right? Immediately after drinking it, <laughs> you look into that camera and say, Team Gospel, Gospel Life. Life. In three, two, one, Wait, what go. did you put in here? It's, it's lemon, lemon, lemon juice. Are you sure there's no vinegar in here? <laughs> no. Let's go. <laughs> three, two, <laughs> one, go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go. go. Oh, let's, let's go. go. You got <laughs> You got this! Team Gospel Life! Team Gospel Life! <laughs> <laughs> she did it guys, she did it in less than 10 seconds. <laughs> right now, it's time for us to head over to um, the live mm. chat. Team we asked you guys the question, are HIV and AIDS campaigns helping to curb the virus amongst young people? And this is what you guys had to say. Uno Matemba said, not really, because no one will come out and admit they have it. Making it public only serves as embarrassment, so it makes the youth fear voicing instead they die with it. Uschaba said, not really. People are still persisting with having unsafe sex regardless. We really love hearing from you guys. Don't forget to send through your comments using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. Right now though, it's time for us to head over to the music stage. Welcome to e Teen Gospel Live. Joining us at this moment is Ananda. Welcome to Teen Gospel Live. Thank you. So can you please tell us when did you start singing and why? Um, I started singing around about the age of four. Um, why? I, I loved singing from a young age. I don't think I knew I could sing at the time, but it was a thing of I was always singing. Yeah. 
So who influences your music? Um, a lot of people, actually. Um, in terms of gospel music, maybe I can say like Ndogo Zombambo. She's like a big inspiration to me yeah. when it comes to gospel music. Mm. Then I want to know, um, tell us about the song that you'll be performing and why you chose it. Okay, I'll be singing I Will Follow Thee um, on, in Christen's song, number 11. Why I chose that song. Um, I really like it. And it's also my late father's favorite song. So, yeah. So how can we reach out to our peers using gospel music? Well, through singers like us. Because, <laughs> you know, they won't just listen to it. Yeah. Um, they have to, like, really like it. Also, in terms of singing gospel music, you have to see the target market. You have to have your target market and, like, what type of style they like. Mm. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us. That was Ananda. We gave you guys an incredible beginning, a spectacular middle, and we are going to end the show the only way we know how, which is on a high note. I hope you guys had as much fun as we did today, and I hope you guys learned a lot of valuable information. Make sure you keep in touch with us on our social media platforms using the hashtag, hashtag TGL on SID. I really had a great time. We hope you also had a great time. Lapo Ekaya, we'd like to say thank you to our guests for pulling through and making the show so awesome, so lady. Right now, it's time for us to love and leave you with a performance from Oananda. We hope you enjoy it. It's love and light. Goodbye. I will follow thee, my saviour. Where so where my Lord may be, and though all men should forsake thee, by thy grace I'll follow thee. Ndogulandelam sindisi wapalaza ikazi no kabonkebegutela. Go tando, do landela. Though two Jordans rolling pillows, cold and deep, thou leadest me. Thou hast crossed the waves before me, and I still will follow thee. No good land, I'm seeing this. Wapalasa ikazi, no kabon kebe gutela, gotando, no landela.